Hello from the National Weather Service in Missoula. Here we have the planning briefing for Sunday, November 16th. Thank you for joining us. Let's begin with the key points. We're going to be under a split flow weather pattern with the storm track really focusing across the southern U.S. through the next several days. And with that, we're going to be seeing weak waves of moisture and lift bringing periodic showers and high elevation snow through Wednesday. We're not really expecting much impact. Snow amounts on the passes are going to be very light and snow is going to struggle to accumulate with the recent warm temperatures. So overnight periods are really the only period of main concern. Transitioning towards our next system, we have medium to high confidence for an atmospheric river with widespread mountain snow beginning November 22nd through the 23rd, so looking at next weekend. And then beyond that, there's been several indications in the extended models for an elevated risk for colder and wintry-like weather for Thanksgiving, including a lot of the travel periods with a risk for valley snow. Looking at the snow level and temperature forecast throughout the next coming week, you'll see that snow levels the next several days are really high, anywhere from seven to 9,000 feet through Monday. And then as we go through the rest of the week, Tuesday into Wednesday, as that next system kind of clips us from the south, and we see light snowfall in the mountains and the higher elevations, snow levels are anywhere between five and 6,000 feet. And then heading into next weekend, we do see snow levels kind of anywhere from four to 5,000 feet as we track that potential for that next atmospheric river. Looking at the regional temperature forecast kind of mirrors the snow levels where we're above normal temperatures through the first couple days of the week and then we gradually uh, trend lower closer to seasonal averages by next weekend. Here's a look at the middle of the road wind gust forecast throughout the upcoming week. Really not much to be concerned with. Really light winds for much of the forecast period. And then by next weekend, as we start seeing that pattern change, we are going to start seeing some higher winds, especially in the higher elevations. Here's a look at the snowfall forecast. Really the only areas that stand out are some of the high elevation mountain passes with you know, light accumulations Tuesday and Wednesday. And then looking at the pattern change by next weekend, here we're looking at model cluster analysis. So it gives us a, f a feel for kind of the large scale weather patterns in, in the atmosphere and the different possibilities those patterns might have. And the top two clusters, cluster one and two, show us an extension, an extension of the Pacific jet across the Western US with high pressure to the south and north low pressure to the north. This is a classic pattern for an atmospheric river. And there's kind of a 60 to 70% chance for this pattern to take place. And historically we see widespread mountain snow, especially focusing across the Idaho and Montana border and Northwest Montana under that pattern. You'll notice in cluster three, there, that atmospheric river is really focused a little bit further to the north up in Canada. And under this pattern, Northern Rockies typically sees kind of warmer and mild conditions with higher snow levels less winter travel impacts over the mountain passes under that scenario. So it's still some details to be ironed out, but most of the models are showing an atmospheric river making landfall. It's just a question of where the atmospheric river is really going to focus. And then taking a look at Thanksgiving week and what the travel impacts could be, there is several large scale circulations of the atmosphere taking shape that point towards an elevated risk for colder temperatures and winter winter travel impacts. And this graphic was put together by the Climate Prediction Center. And really the key points are if you're going to be traveling in the Western US for Thanksgiving travel, I would really consider you know making those preparations, getting your winter travel kits in order for vehicles, and just be prepared. There could be some travel disruption and delays associated with that winter pattern that's setting up. And what does that pattern look like? This is a middle of the road forecast from our ensemble weather systems. And really what they're showing is a broad ridge of high pressure off the west coast with a long wave trough across much of the western US. And this, this color fill is the probability for temperatures to be below freezing 
and for there to be lower snow levels. And we're seeing anywhere from kind of a, a 50 to 60 percent probability, especially up in northwest Montana. Typically under this pattern, we see colder air dropping out of Canada and banking along the divide. And the storm track is showing kind of low pressure systems dropping from the Gulf of Alaska and making their way kind of across the Pacific Northwest and then kind of through central Idaho into eastern Montana, which historically this pattern where you have the combination of cold air from Canada dropping south, Pacific moisture moving west to east, it bodes well for there to be periods of significant travel disruptions and winter storms. You know, how much snow falls in the valleys remains to be seen, but the dice are loaded definitely towards disruptions of travel with winter conditions at times during Thanksgiving travel week. Uh, thank you for watching the, the briefing for today. Our next scheduled briefing is scheduled for Thursday, November 20th. Thank you and have a great day.